Hi everybody, it's Brittany and I'm back with another video and this video is how to deal with burnout and stress in dental school and this is just a video in general uh, it doesn't have to apply to just dental school but it can also be applicable to university, college, and even high school so the reason why I had an idea about making this video is because I recently just got back from my spring break and it was one week and I just had a really great time relaxing, catching up with friends, and really just not studying and worrying about dental school. So what is burnout? Burnout is actually when you are both mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted from work, school, or anything like that. And as a dental student, and I'm sure um, many of you, even as university or college or even high school students, experience this sometimes. And I feel that in dental school, I've, I've always, I'm always on the grind and I, it's really hard for me to remember to take breaks. So let me tell you about my personal tips on how I like to deal with burnout and stress. The first tip is to take your breaks very seriously. When I was on spring break, I did not even try to study at all. I wanted this whole week off um, just for me to relax, to just get my body like back in its regular function. I was like sleep deprived. I was like emo like socially deprived so I slept a lot and I got to hang out with a lot of my friends. And I feel like a lot of people think that during spring break that this is a time for you to really like catch up or like get ahead of things and my personal belief is unless you have an actual test after a break then you shouldn't need to study and you should go ahead and have fun because you deserve it you've been working so hard and you deserve to give yourself a bit of a reward the second tip has to do with what if you don't have long breaks like spring break or summer break to kind of recharge well my favorite thing to do is i like to talk to somebody that i trust and whether this is a parent or your sibling or a boyfriend or girlfriend or even a best friend, um, I feel like it's very important to talk to somebody that you trust about how you're feeling. And for me personally, I am the type of person that kind of bottles up my feelings and it just kind of like comes out and explodes in one go. And that's not really healthy, you know, it's not healthy to keep your emotions and thoughts bottled up inside. So I think it's very important to have a strong support system, whether you're in dental school or you're in any type of other professional school or even university too. Being able to talk to somebody and just get your emotions out kind of, for me at least, is a stress reliever. The third and final tip is to remember to do things you love. Just because you're in dental school or in university or in or in high school, that doesn't mean that you should stop hanging out with your friends, stop talking to your family, it doesn't mean that you should not do the hobbies that you love, it doesn't mean that you should give up music or art or even playing video games. Like, you should be able to do the things that you love. And one thing that I personally want to strive for in the future is to work hard and to play hard because I believe that you need balance in everything and although I'm not like I don't have everything together and my life is not perfectly balanced that is definitely something that I want to um, work towards. So that is it for this video if you guys kind of thought that it was helpful please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel and you are interested in dental school please subscribe to my channel I upload every single week. I also have an Instagram if you want to have more um, t daily updates and that is Brittany goes to dental school and I post there um, on my Instagram story and I also post on my Instagram feed so I will see you guys in the next video bye